me know when you're rolling. Roll. All right. Uh, first off here, can I have you uh, say your name for me? Yeah, I'm Robert Kellis. All right, Robert. Uh, first question here. Uh, what is your reaction? Oh, um, you know, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, my apologies. I know we didn't really kind of get into this. We're kind of jumping into it. But uh, I, I really, frankly, want to just, if I can, um, as I've spoken with other folks uh, from the media, I'd, I'd like to speak about the, this domestic violence issue that's come out in the news. Yeah, what do you have to say about that? So, um, you know, I've tried to live my life doing good by others. I've always done that. Uh, unfortunately, um, I have ADHD, and with that comes a, I guess, a kind of a, a tendency to go overboard um, when it comes to, you know, I, I guess, uh, eating things or, you know, when I was a little kid, I was, I was fat. Um, and when I got older, when I started drinking, you know, I would drink one drink, but one would turn into a dozen before I knew it. I just would drink until I blacked out. And um, for a long time, and then of course I, I didn't drink every day. It's on those days where I would drink, I couldn't control myself. If I had one, I had to have a dozen and I'd black out not knowing what I did the next day. And. You know, I, I tried to, I tried to tame it. You know, I, I tried, I wanted to be like everybody else. I wanted to be like people who could have one or two drinks and and not black out. And so I, I, I did that for quite a bit of my adult life. You know, except whenever I'd go out to functions or whatever, I would unfortunately, by the time I got home, I'd, I'd be blacked out. And Regretfully, one when I had a couple of years ago, it when I blacked out, it it scared my wife and it scared my kids. I I didn't hurt them, but I scared them enough to call the police on me. And I, after that day, I, I stopped drinking. I said I'm I'm not perfect, and I just wanted to try to. I mean, I just want to try to be do my best and be the pers best person I can be, and so I just wanted to explain what occurred with that domestic violence charge. Yeah, that night um, in 2020, um, since then, how was your relationship with your wife since that point? I, it's good, it's good. Um, you know, we, we're talking every day. I, I, I've, you know, frankly, we actually had plans for the whole family to go to Life is Beautiful this weekend. You know, we had the tickets for the five of us. Um, our, we have a great relationship. You know, she forgave me for, for that, and, and things were going well. well what do you and have? Things are, we're, still, we're still close, me and my wife and I. So what, is you, what do you have to say for the charge you're facing now? Uh, and unfortunately, I, I, I can't comment on it, obviously, given that it's ongoing, and I hope you understand. Um, are you able to talk about... You're, you and your wife now, you guys work together? Um, again, we we have a, a wonderful relationship. I mean, obviously, you know, things are a little difficult to hear with respect to working together, per se. Um, but we, we love each other very much. Um, you know, and... Well, how, how would you describe your relationship with Gehrman? Um, you know, I, I didn't have a relationship with Mr. Gervin per se, so... Did you ever try to work with him on any stories in the past? Yeah. Uh, no, sir. Um, I guess DNA evidence and, and certain evidence found at home, your home, linked you to this. Um, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, and unfortunately I can't comment on, on the case. I'm sorry. Um, have you talked with your wife since you've been arrested? Yes, I have. And um, what, what, are you able to say what you've told her? Um, you know, I, again, obviously I love her and, you know, just talking about family. What would you say to those past allegations of a hostile work environment and sexual misconduct in the workplace? I, I've laid all that out on the website.
website, it's false. And, you know, I, the work that we did in that office was was very important and very good. Um, we did have a lot of accomplishments. We were able to change laws to support families in probate. Um, the office was running very, very well. And unfortunately, there were some folks who just, just weren't happy with the changes um, because it affected their pocketbooks. And it's, I mean, it, it's unfortunate the way that that uh, things went down. Did you murder Jeff Gehrman? I, again, sir, I cannot comment on the case in any respect whatsoever, sir. Um, what was your role at the county? What was your day-to-day -day job? I was a probate administrator for um, probates where families uh, are not stepping in, either because they haven't been found or because they'd like for us to handle those cases for them. Um, are you aware that Rita Reed did an interview with ABC? Um, I've heard, but again, you know, I wouldn't have any comment on it. So no reaction to Rita Reed talking to ABC about this whole situation? No. Um, is there anything you want people to know about you? It's just really, again, that, that I am someone who is human. I've, all my life, try to do great work for people. Uh, I, I used to volunteer, donate, um, and just generally try to help anybody who needed my help. And so that's that's who I am. Um, if anyone wants to believe otherwise, that's their choice, but I'm just somebody who's trying to do his best to be a good person. What is your reaction to this, this whole thing? I mean, you being arrested, um, these allegations you're now facing. Uh, what is your reaction to this and, and Gehrman's murder, and just in general? Uh, again, I, I really can't comment on it. I'm sorry. Um, do you? Can you talk about if you plan to plead guilty or not guilty? No, I'm sorry. Do you have any message today for your family? Um, they know that I love them very much, but, uh, and my friends as well. That's. That's pretty much what, what the message is. That I do love them so very much. Um, I, uh, what was your initial reaction to hearing about Jeff Gehrman being murdered? Again, I unfortunately can't comment on it. You can't say mention anything about Gehrman whatsoever? Right, right. Um, have you worked with him at all in the past? And on any stories in general? Uh, no. Um, with those previous stories that he had published, um, obviously you read them and you tweeted about them and, and everything, and you, you obviously had a reaction from them, thinking he was going through your trash at some point. Um, what do you say about all of that? Again, I, my apologies, but I really can't comment on it. So that uh, that 2020 domestic violence, um, we just read, we just saw the the body camera footage yesterday and it appeared that I mean, you were arguing with police and and um, intoxicated and uh, you did face a, a resisting arrest um, have you wh what is your reaction knowing that that body cam footage is now out there and people are seeing the actions that happened in it uh, again you know I, I frankly hadn't seen it I don't know what I was doing um, I blacked out, so I was not in control. I don't know medically, scientifically, what exactly was in control, but I was not conscious. And I think people who have drinking problems understand what I'm talking about. I don't know that someone like yourself has ever experienced it, but frankly, honestly, the, the first that I heard uh, about my actions um, in, you know, with the police was uh, here today um, with an earlier news station. So I, I had no idea the extent of, of what had happened. And, and again, that is obviously one of the reasons that I quit drinking. And talk, talk, talk about that. You, you said you quit drinking. Have you not drank since then? Or do you drink a little bit? Or what was, what's that? What's your no, relationship? I, like I, you know, I, 
I, I don't have one. You know, my wife and I had a, a flu of champagne um, for our anniversary, but I, I don't drink anymore. I, again, the, the, the costs were just, and the risks were too high. Do you know what happens with your position now at the county? Um, I do not. Have you Sorry. Have any talks with the county at all about what's next? Uh, I have not. Um, so at the county, is uh, is someone else overseeing your job, or do you know anything about that, or has that kind of been pushed to the side? Uh, the, the, the work is ongoing, absolutely. Are you able to do any of the work from there, or is it uh, all no longer working on it? Um, you know, I, I don't know if, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, you know, that, that anyone's interested in any of that, frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I just, for the record, I mean, you, so you basically don't want to comment at all on the charge you're facing now and, and why you're in jail? Correct. Again, I, I, I don't know if you, I'm sure you understand that obviously there are, you know, while this thing is working its way through the legal process, it's, you know, I, I can't comment. I mean, do, is there anything that you want the public to know, though? I mean, <laughs> we're here talking to you, and I, I'm sure I, that... Um, no, I, I understand, and, and again, like I said, I, I've made my statement, and I hope you understand, you know, I, I, again, I, I know that, you know, I, I've got to take the advice of attorneys and, and just not speak about the, the situation, you know? Yeah, um... All right, so what is your, uh, moving forward, do you, can you talk about your plans in court Tuesday? Uh, no, I, I cannot, I'm sorry. Is there anything you want uh, anybody to know about where you might have been of, when this happened for the government? Again, I, I can't comment, I'm sorry. Um, do, you, do you, I don't even know if you can comment on this, but do you think that the motives can you see why these motives kind of put you in this position? The, the police kind of say about these articles and, and such? Yeah, no, same again. I, I'm sorry, I can't comment. Anything else uh, you want anybody to know about you and the situation or anything? No, sir, thank you. I appreciate your time. I, I appreciate uh, your patience. All right, uh, this is your last chance to uh, say anything with us. No, I, I understand. I, again, wanted folks to know that, again, I'm just a guy who's trying to do his best. So you, um, you can't answer whether or not you had murdered Jeff Gannon? I, again, cannot comment on the case. I'm sorry, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.